All right, this is gonna be a very short talk because if requirements is working, that means you don't notice us. Um, so let's get started. So we are doing fairly well. Um, this cycle, we haven't really done too much. Most of our work was doing lower constraints and doing uh, unbinding the requirements update process to allow per project requirements last cycle. And we just kind of kept on going. It made our job easier in the long run, really. So, and yeah, I don't know if you guys recognize that picture, but about a year ago or so, a dam in California did not have a good time. Um, the biggest cause of all these type of failures is uh, PyPy, um, people unpublishing things there, and that just makes me go yell at upstreams about stuff and various caps on things, but uh, the caps we can handle more or less pretty well. Um, so what we've actually been doing um, is not too much. It's mainly documentation, which has been more over the last few weeks. Um, we're going to try to get projects to stop using projects as requirements. And that means things like Neutron. Don't import Neutron.foo. Um, that tends to not work so well, mainly because it's not a stable ABI like that you can program against. And since it's a cycle with milestones, it means that you're not able to get releases throughout the cycle as well, because we don't have, we don't allow beta or alpha releases or pre-releases in general, and the constraints. The uh, Beyond that, Python 3 stuff, uh, there's been a couple small changes in there for us, but it's all been fairly simple. Um, publishing upper constraints is the last big thing that we want to do in the Stein cycle, where we will, for instance, with master, publish uh, a Stein.txt for upper constraints and a master.txt, uh, have all the projects target Stein.txt, and when they branch, they're automatically good, and they just need to change their master to target uh, train.txt instead. So it makes the freeze process basically non-existent for us. So we're gonna, I'm gonna try to work on that over the next month or so, just it's holiday season. Um, and that's it. I told you it'd be short. Uh, any questions? It's short and sweet. I expect heckling. That's what I invited you for. <laughs> can I do what? Sure, I could probably do this two or three more times in the time I have allowed. But, uh, Google, and then I like limit by license I can use and resolution. I have a. This is actually based off of the other presentation I did. I just took the same slides and changed the text a little bit <laughs> and shortened it a lot. Yeah, they're pretty. Had to search for that one in particular. So, so one question, what's the point for dot master? Dot text? Yeah. Um, so projects, master dot text is just gonna, I guess we don't technically need to publish it, but we're going to anyway because it's we're trying to publish per branch, and master is actually kind of two branches, but one of them's not branched yet. Uh, it's it's going to be both master and uh, Stein in this case. Um, yeah, that's kind of why yeah. asking like if, if we are supposed to be pointing well, some to, to the cycle name anyway. So yeah. Like why why do you have that master so, there at all? Well, yeah. there are some projects that will want to point post to master at all times. Um, 
I think cycle with intermediaries probably might be one of those. Uh, yeah. So it's going to get some use, just not nearly as much as branch.txt or release.txt. So at least there is use case. Least yeah. It, and it's not like it's going to hurt anything either. Like we're just going to constantly push to tarballs.openstack.org and slash releases slash whatever. But that's it. Yeah. I guess I'll be done. <laughs>